Hey everyone, welcome to the Bidhi Scope and I am Bidhi. When it comes to my under eyes, I have the most difficult under eyes because they are like super puffy as I am very sensitive to cold and also I have like this real big dark circles because my job involves staring at a monitor for at least 9 hours a day and do random coding. So any concealer I have used, it did not meet my expectations because either it like does not cover enough what is happening on my under eyes or it like it is so thick that it settles in the fine lines of my under eyes and looks like really 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 cakey and this portion pops up even more like it's like it looks really bulgy like a 50 year old but <laughs> that's how it is so the people who know me they also know about my concealer struggles and recently one of my friends suggested me the tart shape tape concealer and swear that this would resolve all those problems I was waiting for the right time to get the concealer and I got the time when Tarte gave us 19% off on their birthday sale and they had this without any minimum purchase free international shipping and I thought this is the right moment. Even with all that I did not buy the full size because I was skeptic that probably this would again be another concealer which I would use once and throw at the back of my drawer so I got this like real small mini shape tape which was probably usually ten dollars but I got this on 19% off how much would that be I think 8.5 dollar ish so <laughs> this is how it is so I just thought I would put a quick review on how this works and there is a very big revelation that i found out after i bought like after i bought this so first things first this bottle is supposed to work as magic and i would not disagree that it does not do that it does do that it doesn't settle on my fine lines it has a real great coverage but but there is a bigger problem for me than that and probably that is my fault but i just wanted to share that and before i go to that i would just give you a bit of background so i will show you the usual foundation that i use on a daily basis that is this bare minerals bear proof foundation in the shade sandstone if you can see because this is like sort of the important point i'm trying to make so <laughs> you would probably ask that what or why is this important yes this is important because because of most of my products say sand i assume that anything with the word sand with will be my shade and when i say my shade so i am usually fair with a yellow undertone and i thought that that is how it would be so when I checked my shade because like you know it is not available in UK so I cannot go and see in person I had to order online so I wanted to check my shade and I bought this light sand pardon my nails I have been really busy and they are like weird but if you can see the shade name so I bought this and I thought this would be the perfect shade for me because you know sand is yellow i am yellow no i'm not yellow but i have yellow undertone and i am mostly fair so it should be fine light sand should be fine but the problem was this is if you can see practically white i would show it on my skin maybe for a better understanding that's how the color is see this is almost like chalk and i don't know you might have already noticed on my under eyes because i just quickly threw this in on my tired under eyes just to show what is happening on that area and you can see how white it looks and when i say white i mean i loved the formula so much that i tried to mix it in with my estee lauder color correcting concealer which is if you know it's a bit orange but then also i could not get rid of how white it is if you can see on my under eyes i don't know let me bring my camera near whoa i hope i do not 
make my camera fall so if you see on my under eyes you can see it hasn't settled here you see i still have my fine lines but it hasn't settled and also i can say like the sort of dark circles i have it work really nice on that as well and it's sort of a glowy finish and everything but with that it's white you see like i do not have anything on my face like if i apply my <laughs> foundation or anything it would seem even more lighter i have tried that but right now i only i might I like my cheeks are red because i am just coming from outside but I do not have anything else so on my natural skin tone as well if you see there is a white patch and I probably look like if I go far it's more prominent so if you see I probably look like you know those guys who got like real white under eyes when it is really cold so this I am really sad to say this but this is such a good concealer it's just that I wasted another $10 or like $8.5 on this because of the color. How can you say that this is light sand and the color is this? And on top of that, like last week I went to Paris, so I checked in Sephora if they have anything with like a fair yellow undertone. But I don't know why why Tarte has not made a concealer for fair girls with a yellow undertone. They either have pink and those colors or they have like a really dark color. I don't know what's the problem. Like in US, no one has yellow undertones or what is it? But at the end of the day, this is what I got. <laughs> White under eyes. I am really, really, really sad now. I don't know if I should like get those pink ones like probably in a shade darker because this is the first concealer on which I really like the um finishing but this is again going to dump so at the end the only thing i wanted to talk about is like if you are buying a shape tape concealer make sure you buy a shade like darker than normal or at least you check the shade properly like what it is meant for and then by it do not go with the usual conventions so yeah i guess that's it i mean i just wanted to make this video really small and really short so please feel free to like share and comment and also just let me know in the comment box if you like my content or what i can do to make it more better more better <laughs> yeah so that's it guys bye bye